Hello all, this is Yogesh from Techirat Automation channel. Today in this video, we are going to review a product from Sonoff brand. So first of all, I have to thank Sonoff team for sending this product for reviewing. The product which I received for to review is Sonoff Zigbee Human Presence Sensor. So this is one of the wonderful product from Sonoff. Actually, I am waiting for uh, this kind of uh, device from Sona for the long time. So, because so we are into the field of automation, uh, so whatever the touch switches and whatever the retrofits models we are putting and we are automating the lights, so definitely we need a motion sensor to make it complete tough for doing all the scene kinds of activities and automations. So, previously in Sona, we are uh, having a motion sensor. So first, so before uh, going into the topic, you have to understand the difference between the motion sensor and the human presence sensor. So motion sensor is working on the principle of PIR based sensors. So previously Sonoff is having a motion sensor which is working on the principle of PIR based. So let me give an example that the use case of those sensors. So if you are placing a motion sensor on a passage and our requirement is that we need the passage lights to get turned on when someone is uh, passing through the way. So for that kind of uh, activities, these motion sensors are very good. It will detect the motion and it will trigger the light. Uh, for the same case, for example, if you are placing the same sensor in the living room where we sit and watch movies. So in that case, using this motion sensor, if you are writing an automations like if there is no person in the room for more than five minutes I want to turn off all the lights the same case is that if I enter the room it wants to turn on the lights and all other uh, uh, devices which we needed so in that case our ultimate requirement is that as long as the some person is sitting inside the living room the lights in the living room should not get turned off because some person is present inside the living room so in that case if you are uh, automating the so our requirement through this motion sensor so the problem which we will face is it and in between it, for example if you are watching the movie so in between what will happen is the sensor will I'll, uh, assume that there is no portion in between what will happen is that we will get a false uh, triggers like uh, we will be sitting inside the room but the sensor will detect that there is no person inside and it will turn off the lights so so what we have to do is so meanwhile we have to give a uh, movement in meanwhile so that to know that the person is inside that means that that the motion sensor that the PAR based motion sensor is not capable to that much accurate that if you are sitting stand still if you are not making any movement for more than one minute or two minute then the sensor will assume that there is no person inside the room and it will trigger the off uh, scenario automation so that even if you are inside all the lights will get turned off that is the uh, huge problem that we are facing uh, if you are using a motion sensor for doing automations in those uh, living room cases so now if you are using these kinds of sensors we will not face those kinds of problems because this is not a motion sensor this is a human presence sensor it will detect the presence of the human in the uh, rooms which we are needed not only rooms it will detect even there is a motion like uh, if your curtains if it is moving otherwise if you are having a fan and if it is whatever the objects if it is making a movement it will detect that is the advantage of the human presence sensor so if you are using these kinds of sensors for automations we will not get any false triggers so now uh, of this device we are going to see what are all the options available for this uh, product so first of all this product is a uh, uh, zigbee based that means zigbee 3.0 and it is not a battery powered device it is a wired device we have to uh, give a power adapter and we have to use the C type cable to connect this device. So previously the motion sensor which we are having in a Sonoff is a battery powered one. 
so now the sensor that is a human present sensor which we are having here is not a battery powered it is a wire powered device we have to connect it to the power for the devices to work properly and also this is not a wi-fi based this is a zigbee based so for connecting this device either as it is uh, compatible with the uh, zigbee 3.0 so you should have any of the hubs which is supports zigbee 3.0 so then it is working on the microwave radar of 5.8 ghz frequency so here i want to tell you that there are a the lot of radar uh, based sensors we are having so based on the frequency for example in the military or uh, the high accuracy things the frequency will be higher like we are having a sensors for the frequencies of 30 uh, like uh, 30 gigahertz or 30 megahertz likewise we are having a huge uh, frequency based sensors we are having as much as frequencies is uh, higher so we will have a more accurate uh, moments we can able to detect so here it is working uh, with a frequency of 5.8 gigahertz uh, this is more than enough this frequency is more than enough to detect a human movement even if you are uh, not making any movement and if you are making a standstill even though the sensor will detect whether a human is present inside the room or not then after that and uh, this comes with an inbuilt light sensor so that using an automation we can able to write that uh, our automations should trigger only at the time of a uh, day like a uh, night time that means if uh, the light intensity is very less if light intensity is more there is no need for the lights to get turned on so we are having an inbuilt uh, light sensors also we are having as usual this will work with alexa then uh, smart things iftt that google and lot of uh, as usual things this will be uh, linked with the ev link application so for that either you should have a ihost uh, device or a Zib zigbee hub from sonoff to get those all the things into ev link application actually i have already unboxed this uh, product and i have been installed uh, the behind me and i'm using automation for this uh, room so let's get into the video and see so how i have installed and how the product it is looking like and, and what are all the uh, alignment options which we are having and all those uh, things we can see uh, so at this point here uh, this uh, sensors as it is compatible with the uh, uh, zigbee 3.0 so as i am so much interested in implementing into a home assistant so i have already installed and integrated into home assistant with zigbee to mk 3 so using that one i have already uh, configured and i have uh, made some few automations for this particular room so this is my room where uh, at the entrance so i'm having a touch switch using this i am controlling all the lights and fans in this room so this is already integrated into home assistant now let's see the uh, our uh, son of present sensor it is already installed here so this is how it looks like once it has been installed so in the box what are all the things which we have here is this uh, cables we will have we will not have the adapter so you just see this one this is the PIR based the old uh, the son of zigbee a motion sensor so the previously i was using this one for this room so now uh, i have updated to this human present sensor from sonoff so see here so this is how the products looks like so uh, the base plate will be having so the base plate uh, the either you can screw it through screw to the wall otherwise you can use the double sheet tape which is already comes inside the box i have used the double sheet tape to fix it in the uh, pan, uh, wood panel so after that this is the sensor so this is the pairing button so here uh, like if it is a magnetic suction based uh, attachment if you just place it here it will attach to the base plate so you can whatever the the angles which we need we can uh, as per our requirement we can uh, keep this one so i have uh, so this is my uh, so optimum placement to detect my the motions when i'm entering into the room also it comes with the cable tag to organize 
so uh, this is how it looks like so after it has been installed this is how it looks like it, it will comes with the cable but the adapter we have to put the adapter uh, so now it's uh, it is already uh, our uh, zigbee human presence sensor is already been integrated into home assistant and my touch is also integrated in home assistant i have uh, created a scenario that if the person is not available in the room for a uh, one minute then it will uh, detect and it will uh, send a signal so that all the lights in my room will get turned off let's check it i'll go outside then uh, we'll see whether the it is detecting our uh, presence let's check it out so here one of the drawback which i have would, uh, faced is if you're automating the fans if you're having emotions like fan if you're having in a room then it will not uh, it will continuously detect the motion so that it will not uh, what to say it will not trigger the off action so uh, if you are having an ac and if you if you don't have any of the motion based uh, items in your room then this is perfect solution so my uh, solutions like uh, conclusion will be if you are having a fan in your room then you cannot able to automate or uh, making a scenarios using this sensor and also the device is also so compact uh, so only the problem is that uh, it as it is a powered device so we have to uh, plan properly otherwise we will be finding the cables outside so that we have to take care at the time of planning so if you are uh, planning to place the sensors on the ceiling uh, then we have to plan accordingly that we have to place the adapter or uh, above the uh, ceiling and all those things to be planned as earlier So now you can uh, we have been seen that it has detected uh, the there is no motion in the room and it has turned off all the lights and as I entered into the room so now the lights are turned on. See previously when we are testing it is uh, it was not turned off uh, so I was so confused so when I was trying to find out what is the motions in the room see this one for uh, this tag we are having now I'm having an AC behind the wall so here I'm having so because of this air this uh, we are having a small movement the sensor is uh, capable to so take uh, that much very small motion and it is uh, it uh, uh, to see this ultimately uh, the sense our lights have not uh, get turned off so if you are planning to use these kinds of sensors for automation so we have to be very careful that there should not be any minor movements inside the room if it is uh, if we are having a fan or some curtains if the window is open and uh, if you are having the curtains are moving then there is uh, there is no point in using these kinds of sensors in the room so if you are planning to use uh, these kinds of sensors so for a human presence then inside which we should not have any of the uh, moving objects like fan and uh, curtains windows and those things by this end of this video i am uh, conclude that this human presence sensor is working properly so it is uh, the detection capability of the sensor is very good and also in this uh, sensor we are having an option to change the sensitivity of uh, detections like uh, low medium and high those all those uh, things how to configure all those things we will be seeing in the next video for this uh, part of this video i am going to conclude with a few points about the sensor so first point is that for example if you are going to place the sensor for uh, making an automation like in a living room that if there is no uh, human presence in the room for more than five minutes or uh, whatever the time which we needed 
uh, if you are leaving outside after that it should detect there is a no human presence or any movement in the room and it should turn off all the lights in those cases it is detecting the finer movement that is not an issue so apart there is an issue like uh, it is detecting even a fine movements like uh, AC wings if you are having it is it is also capturing all those uh, movements if you are having a curtains and if your curtains are moving then it is also be considered as a presence because according to the sensor it doesn't know that it is a human or it is an object according to the sensor whatever the if there is an object moving with the fine movements inside the room then there is someone who's presence inside the room uh, so based on that if you are planning to use these kinds of sensors for uh, our automations we have to be very careful that inside the room there should not be any objects creating a fine movements like curtains ac wings like a uh, fan and uh, so other things if you are having a like a hanging objects or something uh, to, because of the wind or uh, the air flow coming out from the ac if that object is moving then according to the sensor that even if you are the human is not present inside the room according to the sensor it will detect that there is some motion inside the room so all those things we have to be taken as an input and to be careful we have to place the sensor that is one thing uh, then other one is uh, the placement is very important we have to if you are even if you are having an object uh, uh, moving objects we are having we have to place the sensor in such a way that we have to skip all those uh, things if you are having a fan means we have to place it the sensor in such a way that it should not uh, uh, detect the fan movement so based on that we can avoid those uh, problems so okay uh, thank you for uh, watching this video uh, in the next coming video we'll be seeing how uh, this been uh, integrated in uh, home assistant uh, in zigbee to mk 2 tt and also we'll be seeing so how to add this device or pair the device with the ihost once again thank you for watching this video